Well, I think I thought I'd give a an update uh, shop tip uh, video on my poo duck skiff build. So um, so far, I've got uh, the the main elements of the hull all completed. I improvised a little bit by putting in a, a sealed um, buoyancy uh, and storage. Uh, I guess you'd call it a four locker, and the same thing in the stern. So instead of the uh, the, the kind of plank. Uh, thwarts that you would normally have that are specified by Joel White. That's my little modification, so hopefully my boat would stay reasonably afloat. Next I have to cut the uh, the centerboard slot. So in this boat you have the option of either use doing a, uh, a dagger board or you can do a centerboard. Dagger board might be a little bit simpler to uh, to build, but uh, quite frankly, I, I, I think that uh, where there's an option for a center board, center board is the way to go. Um, dagger boards can be a bit of a liability if you're in shallow waters. And after all, aren't these dinghies all about going in shallow water? And uh, if you have a dagger board, you run the risk of whacking a rock and possibly even splitting your dagger board case and incurring a huge leak. In fact, I have a friend who has a, uh, a shellback dinghy, very similar to this design, who did just that on a trip. So here's my little, uh, my interpretation of a breast hook. Um, now the plans called for uh, basically a bronze rod or threaded bolt that goes through. This is kind of a difficult uh, uh, feature to construct because as you can see, it's crowned. And so you have all these bevel angles that have to fit to the sides of the hull, which are, which are kind of at an angle. And they, of course, have to meet uh, at an angle in the middle. And it's a very, very difficult piece of uh, carpentry to achieve. Um, so uh, rather than trying to put in a, a sort of a horizontal bronze rod or brass rod that would kind of help strengthen this uh, this the, these two pieces that are joined here um, I opted instead to to simply apply fiberglass tape on the underside and I'm not sure that uh, you'll be able to see this but basically there's there's two layers of fiberglass tape under here and that's what's providing me my uh, my strength in terms of uh, sideways pulling and I think that that is going to be adequate and of course everything is joined with epoxy um, the hull, the plank, the shear streak is uh, through screwed into the uh, into the uh, breast hook, and so I've got pretty much all the elements in. And the next I wanted to talk about is the centerboard. Now my centerboards, I always, always, always when I build a boat, uh, when I make the centerboard case, here you see the two halves. I always fiberglass the interior surfaces for abrasion resistance, and I always include, I usually put cloth, like six ounce cloth, wet it out with uh, uh, fiberglass, uh, sorry, epoxy, and then the last uh, two or three coats to fill in the weave and to then overcoat will be, uh, will consist of epoxy uh, with graphite powder mixed in to give abrasion resistance. And I do the exact same thing for the centerboard. Um, I've seen plenty of people build fiberglass, or sorry, plywood boats, who don't go to the uh, extra trouble of fiberglassing the inside of the centerboard case and the, the centerboard or even the dagger board itself. And I think that's a big mistake that uh, will bring a lot of regret down the road because um, you will get abrasion as just as the, the board kind of moves up and down in this manner in the centerboard case, there's going to be rubbing. And even if you coat the insides with just epoxy, I don't think that's enough. I think you need fiberglass cloth to give that extra meat to provide uh, resistance. And I, I like, I've always had very good success incorporating graphite powder in the uh, final two or three top coats. Uh, it gives it abrasion resistance. And if you ever wanted to kind of verify that for yourself, try coating a piece of plywood with, uh, with a mixture of epoxy and graphite powder, letting it cure, and then see how, uh, how it sands compared to not having graphite, and you'll see a marked difference. So the graphite really does help to, to give it strength. So this center board, the, the pin is, the pivot point's gonna be here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill it out over size. I will fill it with epoxy, again, uh, incorporating graphite powder for strength and abrasion resistance, and then I'll drill the final hole for my quarter inch stainless steel bolt which will serve as the centerboard pin. Uh, in this location here is where the pennant is going to be so it's going to be a quarter inch uh, uh, piece of nylon that's going to go through 
and a knot will be tied off here in this uh, in this little hole to accommodate the knot. Sorry, the camera is not quite on where I'm pointing. Um, and, and that will be the pennant. Uh, there is a big slug of lead. It's about, this, this board is made up of one uh, piece of three quarter inch plywood. And so there is a center uh, a lead slug that is about this rectangular shape here. And what I do, I didn't show the pouring of the slug, but basically I always take bronze ring nails and I, I bang them into the side, usually three or four along each edge and including the ends so that when the, uh, the, the lead uh, solidifies, it has something to bite into mechanically. It, it, it's mechanically held in place. And then I fare and I cover the entire surface with fiberglass cloth. Now in this board, I did something that I don't normally do, but I thought I'd give it a try. I had a little bit of uh, brass canoe molding. I can't really see it because it's painted over with this black epoxy graphite, but I applied the canoe molding to all of the leading edges, right around to about here. So that when I'm sailing, if I should uh, hit something, uh, hopefully that brass molding will help protect the edge of the fiberglass. Another way of protecting it, of course, is to do multiple layers of fiberglass cloth, again with graphite, but I just thought that the, uh, that the uh, brass canoe molding might, uh, might do an even better job. So that's uh, my shop tip <laughs> for what it's worth. Uh, my advice, again, is always, always, always fiberglass the inside of your centerboard or daggerboard cases. Always fiberglass the centerboard or the daggerboard itself. It uh, really pays off in the end, and it's not that much more trouble.